All right, so got a bit of a quick one for you guys. We're going to be building a little little bird. Uh, so you guys may have seen, if you checked out my community post today, the little Glatorian bird that I designed this morning. And I made that specifically because um, 2007, the Jaller Mari set had a uh, little crab that came with the build. And I thought that was the coolest thing, right? I didn't think it was something Lego needed to do over and over and over again, but I wish it was something we had seen more than once at least. And the Glatorian era, I think, was a perfect time to do it because we honestly didn't get a lot of Rahi for 2009. So the build is fairly simple. I'm just going to show it to you in kind of parts, but the body is literally this. So it's kind of an S-curve shape with three Hordika necks. Very, very simple. Some gray feet here for the, well, feet. And then the head is the uh, colored socket. You can use the older style of sockets too, or even CCBS sockets as well. But again, I wanted it to fit in with 2008, 2009, that aesthetic. So just working with what uh, what they gave me. <laughs> um, with that said though, the next thing that you do is you make a little assembly like this here, which is just this little thing. And one of these little connectors here, and it's got a ball pin on one side, that's for later. But essentially you just push that all the way in and then you put the Skrull or Vorox shield, and I like to use the orange here, on the opposite side. That shell also comes in orange as well, but I wanted to do dual color here. I think that vibrancy is really uh, just quite nice on something like this. And of course, we didn't get the 2008 style sockets in orange anyway. So next, you're just going to insert the open pin here into the opening on the butt right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then you're going to insert a number five length axle on this end, although I think I might have put that in upside down, but that's fine. Um, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. But yeah, just insert a five length axle with a socket and another Hordika neck, so lots of those. And honestly, once I get the last one in here, that's uh, that's it, that's the entire build. I really like it, it's super cute, it's super small. Obviously like the wings don't really align super well for a flight mode, but you can pose it in a flight mode if you want to, and you can obviously tuck the feet back. But more or less, I thought it was more important that the wings looked really good folded up. So that's what I ended up kind of focusing on, prioritizing, and I, I, they do, <laughs> they look great folded. Uh, so that's really the entire build. What's nice about this too, is that many of these pieces come in a lot of different colors. So the Vorox shell obviously had been introduced in plenty of colors. I need to get some purple ones, these too. I would love to use purple on one of these guys. Uh, but I think another very easy combination is like silver and white, or even using some of the tan with white would be really nice. Uh, the Vorox shell also comes in like dark tan. It comes in Metro red, black, you know, etc. So lots and lots of different colors. You're basically just limited by the Matoro shoulder pad, which if you like using silver, then you're pretty much good to go there because it's a neutral. And then the socket on the head here, which again, you can go with neutrals there as well. So that's honestly pretty much it for this little guy here. Um, it's just a cute little bird. It's about 25 pieces, I believe. And most of them are just small and kind of repeated pieces. So it is more than the uh, Hana crab that came out in 2007, uh, but only by a couple. Although I am also counting the blaster being attached to that crab when I count the parts. So maybe that's cheating a little bit. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. So if you enjoyed my little video, my little bird here, then uh, let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you want to see next. If you'd like to see more Glatorian era little Rahi, then I'd love to make some more of those as well. And of course, as always, Discord, Instagram, and Patreon in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.